Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Good morning, and welcome to worship with New Journey Lutheran Church on this sixth Sunday in the season of Easter. A joy to be with you in this online space, as together we sing and we pray and we hear the word of God, a word of love. A special welcome to guests and visitors this morning. Please know that you are a blessing to us. And a very, very happy Mother's Day to all the women who are um, joining in worship this morning who have mothered us in our lives. Worship continues with the Thanksgiving for baptism. Refreshed by the resurrection life we share in Christ, let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We thank you, risen Christ, for these waters, where you make us new, leading us from death to life, tears to joy. We bless you, risen Christ, that your spirit comes to us in the grace-filled waters of rebirth. Like rains to our thirsting earth, like streams that revive our souls, like cups of cool water shared with strangers. Breathe your peace into your church when we hide in fear. Close up, clothe us with your mercy and forgiveness and send us companions on our journey as we share your life. Make us one, risen Christ. Cleanse our hearts, give us new life. To you be given all praise with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God now and forever. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, oh God, you have you prepared, prepared for those who love you joys beyond, beyond understanding. understanding. Pour, Pour into, into our hearts such, such love for you, for you that, that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises which exceed all we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our scripture today is from Acts 10, 44 through 48. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and then they invited him to stay for several days. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our psalm today is 98. <clears throat> oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods slap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and all the people with equity.
The Gospel according to John, the 15th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, as my Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Between my first and second years of seminary, as part of the requirement for ordained ministry in the ELCA, I completed 11 weeks of clinical pastoral education in a long-term care facility in South Minneapolis. In this program, I acted as chaplain, and my role was to be a student, learning how to care for folks who could no longer manage living on their own and who were nearing the end of life. During those 11 weeks, I visited with residents on a regular basis and attended to their spiritual needs and questions. I also led Bible studies, Wednesday chapel, but most notably, I was privileged to spend time with the residents of the memory care unit. Once a week, I would lead devotions with a group of folks in need of memory care. Some of the residents knew who they were, and would remember their families and some of the stories from their lives. Others did not. One resident on the memory care unit, Leon, who was a World War II veteran and who loved to dance, was always present for our weekly devotions. He would show up to pray and read the Bible and sing hymns. Leon didn't exactly share much during the devotions, except when it came time for us to sing together. And his favorite hymn of all time, Jesus Loves Me. Leon couldn't share much about his life but he could sing every single line of Jesus Loves Me from memory. He would belt out the words, Jesus loves me, this I know, at the top of his lungs and would bring so many smiles to the room. Week after week, I would listen to Leon boldly sing of Jesus' love. Until one day, I realized he was singing not just for himself, but for all the people gathered in the room. When Jesus speaks of love, Jesus is not speaking of cozy, sentimental love. This is not the love of sonnets or songwriters. This is not the kind of love captured in greeting cards, songs, or even in theory by great philosophers like Plato and Aristotle. 
When Jesus speaks of love in today's gospel story, he is imagining action. Love embodied in action. And he grounds the greatest love in the laying down of one's life for one's friends. And of course, this is not theory for Jesus. Jesus does not merely talk about laying his life down for his friends. He actually does it. Jesus lays down his life when he takes on flesh and blood. Jesus lays down his life when he stands in the garden between the Roman soldiers and the disciples on the night of his arrest. Jesus lays down his life when he stands in the court of Pontius Pilate on trial and tells the truth of who he is, king. Jesus lays down his life when he bows his head and gives up his spirit. And Jesus takes his life back up again on that first Easter. God in Jesus laid down God's own life in the incarnation, in the life, in the death, and in the resurrection for the sake of love. I have heard some stories about God's love from our community members here at New Journey. Stories of barely walking through the doors before you are greeted with warmth and are sporting a name tag. Countless stories of phone calls made to those who are experiencing illness or struggle, phone calls that cultivate connection and relationship. Stories of organizing Christmas angel tags so that families who are experiencing financial hardship can celebrate Christmas with gift giving. Stories of how our modest community leads and organizes an annual food packing event called Food for Kids, inviting volunteers from around the Fountain Hills area to join in the work of feeding hungry children. These are the stories of love in action, the kind of love Jesus speaks of when he commands us to love one another as he has loved us. I don't lift up these stories in order for us to pat ourselves on the back. I lift up these stories to lift up Jesus' love for the world. They are stories of Jesus' love passed through our hands and feet for the wider world. Mother Teresa, 20th century Catholic nun famous for her care of the most impoverished people and communities, once claimed to have found the paradox of love. She said, I have found the paradox that if you love until it hurts, there can be no more hurt, only love. It seems to me that Mother Teresa discovered Jesus' meaning of love that calls for the laying down of one's life. In her life of caring for and loving people experiencing poverty and vulnerability, undoubtedly her heart broke when she saw and heard the stories of hurting people. And when her heart broke, it actually allowed love to enter in. It seems to me that she discovered that love is not theory, it is action. An action that often costs us something. Perhaps for us, the cost of loving one another and the wider world 
means letting go of fear that would keep us in our comfort zones. Perhaps the cost of love means letting go of our selfishness that fools us into believing we live our lives for ourselves only and that the affairs of other people do not matter so much. Perhaps the cost of love means letting go of our egos, which demands being right over being in relationship. Perhaps the cost of love means letting go of grudges that prevent us from forgiving that person who hurt us. Perhaps the cost of love means letting go of our own discomfort at witnessing the injustices that pervade our society, systems that stratify people and deny equality and dignity, that kind of love that Jesus calls us into will cost us these things. Loving in this way may even feel like a burden sometimes. But if it means that more love will grow, that love will deepen and expand and fill our hearts, if it means that love will transform us and make us new, then perhaps it's a cost worth paying. Somewhere deep in Leon's heart, the love of Jesus dwelled, and he knew it. He knew that Jesus had laid down his life for him and for the whole world. His brain knew it, despite memory loss. His body knew it. And even as his memory faded and his body failed, Jesus' deep love dwelling inside him could not be contained, but burst forth in song for all those who were living and working on the memory care unit. Leon was going to make darn sure that the rest of the people in the room knew that Jesus loved them too. Friends, Jesus loves you completely, fully, and to the end. And when Jesus gave up his life, he did so out of deep love for you and for this world so that we, the body of Christ, may join our voices with Leon's to boldly share this incredible, unending love for the wider world. Thanks be to God. Jesus loves me, this I know.
Let us together affirm our faith using a statement of faith from the, from the United Church in Canada. We, we are, are not, not alone. alone. We, we live, live in, in God's, God's world. world. We, we believe in God, God who has who created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, the one who is our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Alive in the risen Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit, we bring our prayers before God who promises to hear us and answer in steadfast love, responding to each prayer petition with, and make all things new. Loving God, you call us to be your fruit-bearing church. Strengthen the bonds of love among all Christian churches. We especially pray for New Journey Lutheran Church, that connection would deepen, that our faith would deepen, that our trust in you to lead and guide us would deepen. Lead us into a future, O oh God, where all people are cherished, where there is enough for everyone, and where love is outpoured. Hear us, O oh God, and, and make, make all, all things, things new. Creating God, the earth praises you, the seas roar and the hills sing for joy. Fill the earth with your love so that by their song, <clears throat> all creatures of land and sea and sky, burrowing and soaring, may call us to join with them in praise. Hear us, O God, and, and make, make all things, things new. Faithful Savior, you conquer the world not with weapons, but with undying and unendless love. Plant your word in the hearts of nation's leaders and give them your spirit so that the peoples of the world may live in peace. Hear us, O oh God, and, and make, make all, all things, things new. new. Caring healer, you forget no one and accompany the lonely. Be present with those who are sick and in need of healing. We especially remember before you Richard, Deb, Karen, and John. Provide for those needing homes or medical care and point us towards life-changing responses to the needs in our own communities. Be with us all. Hear us, O oh God, and, and make, make all, all things, things new. Gracious God, as a mother comforts her child, you comfort us. Bless mothers and mothering people in our lives. Comfort those who miss their mothers, mothers who grieve, those who grieve because they cannot be mothers, and those who have never known a loving mother. Hear us, O oh God, and, and make, make all, all things, things new. new. Oh God, we pray for an end to COVID-19. Strengthen those who are sick. Comfort their families. Be with care teams of doctors and nurses. Oh God, bring this virus to an end. That we may return to life that we may wonder how you are leading us now. Oh God, we pray for this world. We pray for all those who are suffering, for communities, 
for ecosystems that suffer under violence. We pray for an end to violence. We pray for peacekeeping forces in this world that would promote understanding and compassion. Hear us, O God, and, and make, make all, all things, things new. new. Gentle Redeemer, all who die in you abide in your presence forever. We remember with thanksgiving those who shared your love throughout their lives. We especially remember George. Keep us united with them in your everlasting love. Hear us, O oh God, and, and make, make all, all things, things new. new. In the hope of new life in Christ, we raise our prayers to you, trusting in your never-ending goodness and mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. And also with you. I encourage you to share a sign of Christ's peace with one another. Whether you are sitting next to someone in your home or whether you pick up the phone later today and make a phone call to share that peace and that love of Christ. A special welcome and thank you to all of you who are joining in worship on this sixth Sunday of Easter, and a special welcome to those who may be joining us for the first time. We are glad you are here. Coffee Hour continues this Tuesday, May 11th at 9 a.m. The Zoom link is posted on our website. Sojourners, that's New Journeys Quilting Group, meets this Thursday, May 13th at 1 p.m. here in the fellowship space. Please be sure to wear your mask. Prayer ministry continues at New Journey under the leadership of Jane Stoss. Um, if you are in need of prayer, you can contact me at my email address or you can submit a prayer request online. Adult Vacation Bible School in collaboration with the Northeast Valley Consortium is scheduled for May 18th to the 21st, so it's coming up from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. over Zoom. To RSVP for this exciting event, please email admin at ctlcarefree.org. Bible study and Holy Communion continues um, this Wednesday, May 12th at 10 a.m. over Zoom for a series on the Psalms. The Zoom link is posted on our website. Worship is now available on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Arizona time. That is 5 p.m. Central and 6 Eastern. Please note that the service will air once on Saturday, and then it will air again on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Thank you to all of you who have filled out the survey regarding a return to in-person worship. Your participation has been immensely helpful um, for our congregational council to discuss and to discern our next steps in returning to in-person worship. Council does gather this coming week on May 11th to discuss the results of the survey. Um, and if you have any additional questions or comments that you would like to make, please contact me or our council president, Dave Bubke. His email was published in our um, May e-news. And thank you um, for your gracious welcome of Pastor Mike Johnson from Christ the Lord and Carefree, who uh, preached and led worship last Sunday um, while I attended to my family after the death um, of my father. And uh, thank you for your loving prayers. They have surrounded me and my mother and my siblings with so much comfort. Thank you. And so, we remember God's generosity in our lives today and every day. A God who is a God of abundance, we give thanks for how God has gifted us with our time and our talents and our treasures, and we encourage you to respond to God's generosity in your life by continuing to make your gifts to New Journey Lutheran Church. You can do that by mailing your check, um, dropping it off, or giving online. Let us pray. God of love, you call us beloved children and welcome us with loving embrace. Receive our lives and the gifts we offer. Abide with us and send us in service to a suffering world for the sake 
of your beloved child, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Our Father Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be be your name. name. Your Your kingdom kingdom come, come. your Your will will be done done on on earth earth as as in heaven. heaven. Give Give us us today today our daily bread bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our glorious God grant you a spirit of wisdom to know and to love the risen Lord Jesus the God of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Go in peace. Jesus is with you. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.